let's take a look at blame and responsibility in the spectacles. Let's have a look at the characters and how they show blame and responsibility. Previously uses in spectacles to highlight the unfair attitudes in society. Generally, the upper class people refuse to acknowledge how their actions affect the lower classes. These characters accept no responsibility. The Burlings. Priestly uses Mr. and Mrs. Burling to highlight the belief that lower class people deserve their misfortune and that upper class people are entitled to, meaning that they have the right to, fortune, wealth, and easy, easy lifestyles. Mr. Burling. He refuses to accept any responsibility. Instead, he sees Eve as a troublemaker for wanting a pay rise. He dismisses the issue, which means he plays it down. At the end, he's happy to forget the whole thing. Mrs. Burling. She also refuses to accept any responsibility. She feels that the father of his child should be responsible until she realises it's her own son. Then she pushes the blame onto Eric. She still refuses to accept she did anything wrong even in her charity, charitable role. And Gerald. He refuses to accept any responsibility. He feels that he did his part in helping Eva and he does not feel guilty over making her his mistress. He does not feel that he did anything wrong. He is very happy to feel that he thinks the inspector is fake. So let's recap that. Which characters do not accept any responsibility in the inspector calls? You know, Gerald, Mr. Burling, and Mrs. Burling. Bruce Lee also uses younger Burlings to suggest that the younger generation gives some hope to society. Sheila is shocked to learn when what happened to Eve because of her actions and feels extreme guilt and accepts responsibility for her actions. Although she acted like a sport child, she matures in the play and accepts the role she played in Eve as suicide. She even tells her parents off for refusing to accept responsibility for their inactions. Eric acknowledges his actions were wrong. He accepts responsibility for the role he played in damaging Eva's life and for contributing towards her suicide. He also tells his mother she should accept responsibility as well. Inspector Ghoul. His role is to help each character to understand the consequences of their individual selfishness. His role is to also try to encourage them to accept some responsibility. He hopes this will change their attitudes and help them become less selfish. Let's recap that. Which of these statements about Sheila in an inspector cause are true? Did she secretly know that Eva had committed suicide? Or was she shocked when she learns what happened to Eva because of her actions? The answer is that she's shocked. Does she feel that she has responsibility? Or does she think she's justified in having been fired? The correct answer is she feels extreme guilt. Does she tell off her parents refusing to accept responsibility for their actions? Or is she scared to confront her parents about the part they played in Eva's suicide? The correct answer is that she tells her parents off. Does she turn into a sport brat towards the end of the play and refuse to accept responsibility? Or does she mature and accept the role she played in Eva's suicide at the end of the play? The correct answer is that she matures and accepts the role she played in Eva's suicide. To recap, which characters accept responsibility and offer hope for society in an spectacle? Either Eric and Sheila. Which of these statements about Gerald are true? Is he very happy to forget the whole thing when he finds out the inspector is fake? Or does he encourage Mr. and Mrs. Burling to take responsibility for their actions? Correct answer, he's very happy to forget the whole thing. Does he recognise he needs to take responsibility by the end, or does he refuse to accept any? Correct answer is he refuses to accept any. Does he regret treating him the way he did, or does he not feel guilt over making him her his mistress? Correct answer, he does not feel guilt. Which of these statements is not one of Inspector Gould's roles? Is it not to help each character understand the consequences of their individual selfishness? Not to encourage violence and Gerald's gone strike? Or not to try and encourage each character to accept some responsibility? The correct answer is that he did not try to encourage the violence and Gerald's gone strike. And just to recap one more time, the characters that accept no responsibility in spectacles are Mr. Burling, Mrs. Burling and Gerald. And that's everything you need to know about blame and responsibility in the spectacles.